Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to generate the PDF file with the parameter in, from LWC component. Okay. Uh, last video, we have done one uh, functionality like a how to generate the PDF file in LWC with the example. Okay. In, the, in that particular video, I have given how to generate the PDF, what are the steps we need to follow and what are the uh, JS file we need to add, visual post page and uh, Apex class. How, what is the flow and those things I have explained in this video okay so but i have missed one functionality in this video like uh, how to pass the parameter basically okay for here they asking like uh, some of people are asking about how to pass the parameter so now i'm going to explain about how to generate the pdf file from lwc component uh, with the parameters okay so, um so first I will show you how it, before it's working. We have created one, um, uh, on LWC command we have created, if you generate the generate, if you click on the generate PDF button, the PDF will be, will be uh, re-rendered basically, okay? So for that, the code, what is the code means? Here you can see I have created one print job contain, uh, container one uh, LWC command we have created in this command. You can see the label is generated PDF and on click one method we have created that method available in the job print job con uh, container JS file. Okay, so if we click on this generate PDF button, this method will be called. Okay, this method only it will call. So before calling this method itself, while uh, on load the page, we are doing this functionality. Okay, so what is this functionality means? We are load the we need to load the script. So download JS one file we need to download from online and we need to use you need to use in the static resource for example this is a static resource in the static resource you can see it i have uploaded this uh, download js file okay so this is a down download js file i have uploaded so in this kb size is almost 3485 okay uh, bytes not a kb bytes a three four eight five kbs so this is the download js file okay so i i need to i have I go to the static resource and you can click a new button and you can upload this file and you need to give this reference here like a at salesforce um source url download js basically so now we are loading the script into the our lwc command so this is the functional to load the script so download js and then so if the script is downloaded loaded successfully downloaded js will be the console will be print otherwise if any error error will be thrown here okay so this functionality will be called whenever the page is loading right at the time itself this functionality will be called basically okay so after that when we click on this button we are doing we are calling this method okay generate pdf in this generate pdf only we are calling one um, one Apex class we are calling download PDF. Here you can see this is Apex class and this is the get PDF print is the Apex methods. So now I'm going to this method. Yeah, generate uh, print job PDF controller is the our Apex class. So in this Apex class, we have one method. So if you, if you are calling um, method from LWC, we need to use a Tara enabled annotation. So this is the get PDF method we are calling here. So now what I'm doing, so before the functionality, before means last video, we have done this basically. Like a page reference, page dot generate PDF, page we have used. But now we want to pass a parameter to the PM. Visual post page means we need to use this functionality. So this is newly added. Okay. So this function, this one, uh, this one not available in the last video. So now I have added this functionality. Okay. So this similarly we need to pass the parameter to the our visual post page. From the visual post page, we can use this ID. Okay. So first I will explain step by step. So this is the method we are calling and this is the parameter uh, using the page reference we are passing the uh, ID we are passing. So this ID you can get from here also like a, as a parameter you can able to get. For example, here we are calling right here also you can pass the dynamic parameter you can pass and you can able to get the parameter and you can directly pass here also. So now I, I have hard coded that 
uh, parameter value like a test i have add code okay and after that we are calling this generate pdf method uh, sorry whistle post page we are calling now we can go to this whistle post page this is the one whistle post page and uh, this is we have done it as a render render as a pdf so then in the whole page will be render as a will be show as a pdf file basically okay and we are calling this apex class we are calling generate pdf controller okay this is a generate pdf control we are calling so whenever you call whenever you execute this line of code first it will go to the whistle post page and it will go to the controller okay in this controller class from the controller class this constructor will be called okay so in this constructor you can see we are doing like a record id okay we are getting the record id system dot current page reference dot get parameter dot get of id okay so in the get of id mean here you can see we are passing the id right here this uh, id equal to this value so if you get if you use here as a id then we get this uh, opportunity id we will get value we will get so value means like a test value we will get basically here the current record id okay so once i got the record id i am printing into the my uh, whistle post page here you can see it so i am printing like a uh, record id value i am printing output text i am printing this um record record uh, record id value we are i am printing here so this record id i am getting from the here so i am getting the value from the uh, uh, print job pdf controller file okay and i am storing into the record id this record id i am using into whistle post page okay so yeah i will show you one more time so whenever we have created one button button called generate pdf if you click on this generate pdf button this method will be called basically in the lwc command okay so here you can see it uh, before that we are doing one download script uh, sorry a load script functionality we are doing and the load script will be uh, default functionality from the salesforce but uh, in the jar file we need to download from online and we need to upload in the static resource so so and the static resources look like this similarly okay you need to go to static resource and you need to upload a new file and you can uh, uh, catch control should be public and you need to save that one okay and that reference you need to give in the your lwc command here lwc command you need to give the similar function uh, similarly you need to give and that uh, if you are if you used in the static resource it will be um, that script will be loaded here the script will be look like this kind of way basically okay um so it's load is the script is loaded here once the script is loaded we are calling into the download download pdf method we are calling the, the uh, uh, apex class we are calling here you can see this is the apex class and this is the method get pdf printer okay so now we can go to that uh, apex class and this is a method i'm um, just we can pass any parameter if you want dynamically if you want uh, uh, get the value from lwc you can get the value from uh, here itself like a string s1 also you can able to get it if you want okay and the, if you if you pass here then you need to pass the parameter from here also download this method right it's here also you need to pass make sure on that one so now timing i have used the static uh, um, parameter static means like a, from the whistle post page i'm using the opportunity id yeah and that this value i'm getting here okay if you want you can copy and you can use the parameter and you can pass the value also again i'm saying so now i am calling this generate pdf file here you can see it. I, if i go to the generate pdf file i'm calling one controller class okay this is generate pdf uh, class, apex class i am calling if you come to the generate pdf apex class i'm getting the uh, current page id i'm getting basically System dot current page reference dot get parameter dot get of ID means whatever the view in the URL parameter and the key value will be uh, if you use the key you will get the record basically so now you can see the test record will uh, value will be will get here okay so this value I am finally printing into the uh, our whistle post page I am printing here let's see it how it look like save it now. Uh, saving 
Okay, so now I'm going to my home page, refresh one more time. Okay, so you can click on the generate PDF now. Here you can see the PDF. Um, if you click on that one, it's open the another window, the ID, you can see the test is passing here. Uh, the topic slash generate PDF. Uh, question mark id equal to text okay and then the, instead of the text we have passed the opportunity id here you can see instead of the id so instead of the text here equal to text so we have passed the opportunity this value currently is taking here basically okay so parameter and you can go to the bottom here you can see this is the visual post page the test value is printed here whatever value you are passed that that value will be printed here um, that uh, this value, the record ID, this we are getting from here. You can see it from uh, ID using ID we got and we have stored in the record ID. This record ID I'm printing here. Okay. For example, if you, you know, one more time, like a test one record something I'm passing. Test one record some value I'm passing here. Let's see this value is uh, passing as a parameter. So now just refresh it one more time. Click on generate PDF. Yeah, here you can see test one record. So the test one record only we have passed as a parameter to fill this generate PDF uh, visual post page. This is printed here. Also here you can see it record ID, test one record. Okay, test one record is printed here successfully. Okay, so I, so I hope you have learned something about um, generate the PDF, like how to pass the parameter and uh, those things. Okay, so if you want, you can go to, you can up, use this LWC common into any of the opportunity account ID. You can pass the parameter and you can do your functionality based on your requirement. Okay. Uh, so again, I'm saying if you want to you want pass the value from the LWC, like you can pass the para value here and you can use that value also here. Okay. So for that, here also you need to pass the, uh, your, uh, here also you need to pass the parameter. Then only it will work. Okay. So I believe you have understand something new. So please let me know if you have any queries or something and uh, we'll clarify. Thank you. Thanks for watching.